so that in that particular problem what we see that this is an array which store five elements say that this is an array a which contains five elements 10 20 this is a 30 this is 40 and 50 say the index of an array starting from 0 1 this is 2 this is 3 and 4 and say the base address of an array is 100 and in our system we are using integer data that means say the integer will take 4 bytes in my system so the next locations is 104 this next location is 108 this is 112 and this is 116 so next we are declaring a pointer which is star p which stores a what does it mean we know the definition of pointer is a pointer is a variable which stores the address of another variable so p is nothing but a pointer which stores the base address of an a a means base address what is the base address in that particular problem is 100 that means this pointer p will pointing to that particular location now so this is a for loop since this is no initialization because initialization is done in the previous statement so here the condition is p is less than is equals to a plus 4 so what does it mean the value of p is 100 in that particular problem and what is a a is 100 and since we are using pointer arithmetic that means that should be multiplied by the data byte that means it will run up to 116 so what does it mean that is a pointer arithmetic as we already know in c that a plus 4 if we add this pointer it is base address plus the corresponding 4 multiplied by the size of the data type that means it will give 116 so this is the pointer arithmetic so that means the for loop will run up to the conditions 100 when the 100 is less than equals to 116 and every time when p is incremented since it is a pointer incremented that means it will incremented the corresponding data type increment the size of the data type size of the data type what does it mean here the data type size is taken as a 4 bytes that means when you increment p plus plus when you increment p plus plus that means in the next location it goes to 104 in the next location it goes 108 that means every time it is incremented it is incremented by the size of the data type if we are using character here the character will take one byte in that particular case when we store it as a character that means when we just go p plus plus when we do p plus plus that means we are incrementing only one byte so in that particular case we are printing the star p what do you mean by star p star p means value at p so in that particular case value at p means value at p means is that 100 that means value at 100 here the value of 100 is 10 so first we print 10 that is the first thing we print again p is plus plus so that means in the next case in the next step that will pointing to the next location because that is incremented to 104 that means next we are printing star p that means value at 104 which is nothing but 20 in the next case it is again incremented again it is incremented that means it is nothing but you can say 108 and it is pointing like that that means 10 20 30 40 and 50 and in the next case 
in the last case it will print if the value is 116 that means it will print 10 20 so output if we say what should be the output that is 10 20 30 40 and 50 after printing 50 the increment if the pointer is incremented then this particular value is nothing but 120 and since 120 and this this is the particular conditions this is the conditions where the value of p is 120 and that is less than is equals to 116 that will fails that condition fails so it is out of the for loops so it is out of the for loops and we can say the output is 10 20 30 40 50 so this is the output of this particular program okay so we took the next example of the same type of problem in different way so in that particular problem what we see that integer a say a is an array and this particular array stores the element like 10 20 30 40 and 50 so what is the index index will be starting from 0 1 2 3 4 and say the base address of this array is 100 since we are storing the integer data the integer will take if we say the integer will take 4 bytes, so next location is 104, next is 108, next is 112, next is 116. And of course, in that particular case also, what we find that P is a pointer which stores the address A plus 4. What do you mean by A plus 4? We know A plus 4 if we are doing the pointer arithmetic, that means the base address of A is 100. And this 4 is multiplied by the corresponding data type and it becomes here the data type is integer and integer will take 4 bytes what we assume so the location is 116 so actually what we can say that it will pointing to that particular locations from this statement so now what we get this is the first thing what we get from this program and the next thing is the for loop initialization is done in the previous statement so there is no need of initialization then this p the for loop will run up to when p is greater than equals to a so what is the value of p in that particular case p is 116 and the a is 100 that means when this condition is satisfied up to this the program will run and here the pointer arithmetic we are using p minus minus what it signifies that it will decrease by the corresponding size of the data. That means P, you can write like that, that P is equal to P minus 1 multiplied by the corresponding data type. That means if the P is 116 in the next step, it is decremented by 4 bytes because 1 multiplied by 4. That means in the next step, this value is nothing but 112 okay so we can say that in that case in that particular case where we are printing the value of a p minus a what we printing this is the situation and we are printing p a of p minus a so it is a what is the value of p in that case 116 minus 100 since we are using pointer subtractions that is divided by 4 because integer will take 4 by so it is a of 16 by 4 that means a of 4 locations that means it will print 50 okay i think it is clearer to you that it will print 50 so now in the next case if we say it case 1 in case 2 p is decremented p is decremented so if p is decremented now the value of p is 112 what we already discussed because we subtract it by the data type 
so that is now 112 so it is now pointing to that particular location which is this so we are printing the value of a p minus a so a p is nothing but 112 base address is taken as 100 divided by the data type so it will give you the a3 locations so it will print 40 so if we case in the next case p is again decremented so the value of p now become 108 so if the value of p is 100 and 108 so it is now pointing that location so what will happen again we are printing p minus a so a that is 108 base address is 100 divided by the size of the data type so it will give you a2 so it will give you 30 so what should be the output output is like that it is 50 40 30 20 up to 10 when it reaches below 100 that means this condition will fail and it will out of the for loop so what we say this is the one type of problem that you have to solve you have to understand fast so in that particular problem this is the data type where this is a flow data type and this is an array we have not to declare the index because since we are already assigned some values so that means depending on the values the array will automatically create their locations so the thing is in that particular case what we say that if this is an array a this is 1.5 this is 2.5 this is 3.5 4.5 and 5.5 the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and say the base address is 100 and if the float will take 4 bytes, the next location is 104, the next location is 108, 112, this next location is 116. Now again that P will store A plus 4, that means P is a pointer and we already find that A plus 4 means into the corresponding data type. Here A is taken as 100, 4 into corresponding float will take 4, so 116. So we can say that P will contain the address 116, so actually it will point like that. So integer i, i is nothing but a data type and the for loop. Here the i will be starting from 4 and it will run until an unjust i is greater than equals to 0 and this increment or decrement conditions is embedded here so we need not to write like that so now it will print what it will print i minus minus now what it signifies that is the main thing so what we know that the precedence of this operator minus minus operator is less than this minor so that means in the previous case it will operate like that after operation of that the minus minus will take place so it is nothing but in that particular case a will be starting i will be starting from 4 so we can write this is minus 4 so if we write p i can be written as start p plus i so if we write p minus i so it also can be written like that p minus i so we can write like p this is a start you can write like that just start p minus 4 into corresponding data type since we are doing pointer arithmetic so this is what is a p p is nothing but in that place is 116 4 into data type is taken as 4 bytes so this is nothing but star of 100 that means we can say the value at 100 so what is the value at 100 that is 1.5 so it will print 1.5 again now the i will be decremented if i will be decremented then the value of i what we can say 
the value of i is nothing but 3 now so again p of minus 3 that means star of p minus 3 into corresponding size of the data that means if p is 116 it is fixed the size of the data is 4 that means it will print the next which is 104 so it is value at 104 that means it will print 2.5 and it will run up to unless it will greater than 0 it will run until and unless that means for the negative quantity when the value of i equals to 0 it will print the last element and after that when it is decremented that means it is out of the for loop so what is the output output is 1.5 this is 2.5, 3.5, 4.5 and 5.5. So this is the corresponding output of that particular program.